having not played Bed Wars for a year, one of the things you lose, and I honestly don't think I ever had it in the first place, is a sense of timing and the sense of when to attack and when not to attack. I usually play a few rounds of Sky Wars before I start recording just to get myself warmed up, just to get my PvP skills, my non-existent PvP skills ready. And one thing I find is that I am not always using the, the tools afforded me. I find myself just rushing in and attacking everything. Things that I don't need to be attacking and should not be attacking, but I attack them anyways. Uh, goodbye, Pink. And I think the same is true for Bed Wars as well. I often don't know my timing. I don't know how to attack. I don't know when to attack. I don't know when not to attack. Sometimes it works out and I get lucky. And sometimes it doesn't work out and I don't get lucky. Like this time it worked out. I don't know if I got lucky or if I was just, just, just smart about it. The big thing here is I cannot let pink go to my base. We're here on Blitzen. It's a reskin of Lighthouse. It's just the winter edition. You know, like, yay, Christmas. Okay, let's try to crit him out. Didn't quite work. He's on three. One thing that I realized that I'm going to need for a series, a Let's Play series, is that I'm going to need some sort of goal, some sort of objective. Obviously, the grand goal and the grand objective is to become the best Bed Wars player in the world. Maybe we'll do something like trying to top the daily leaderboards. I don't really know. But for now, it's been a year. It's been a year since we played. Ah! It's, it's been a full year since I played Bed Wars. I haven't won a Bed Wars game in a year. That's a long time to not win a Bed Wars game. So today... Today, we will be attempting to win a game in solo bed wars. Alright. And F1. Accidentally clicked on F1. Um, what's going on here? Oh no. Run away. Run away. He's chasing. Build up. Build up. Nope. Run. And I'm gone. One of the main issues that I'm going to be having is not being able to take out my first rush very efficiently. This, uh means I'm going to end up getting double rushed as I did last game, especially since that was a much smaller map. If you're a lot, if you're better at Bed Wars, it really just shows in, in Lighthouse, what's in whatever it's called. But I think I'll end up working my way through the ranks, start with a solo's Bed Wars win, get a few of those, then some duo's Bed Wars wins, I'll just solo queue, and then some squad Bed Wars wins. Now squads, fours is hit or miss, I'll probably also play threes I guess, but fours is hit or miss. You either have a team of players that just installed the game yesterday, or you have a team of seasoned veterans that are trying to break the Technoblade win streak, which, in my opinion, is never going to happen, but they're trying anyways. And here we have Red. Takes no knockback. It's okay. Still smack him around anyways. What's he doing in there? Ah, <sighs> managed to get him. Because I'm trying to keep these episodes kind of short, I'm not going to have that many games to attempt to get a win, so we have to do this in a rather short amount of time. I think we're going to go get diamonds next, because that just seems like a good next step. While editing my videos over the past few years, I've noticed that I often lean forward closer to the screen when I'm battling, which, makes a, which means that a lot of you guys will get to see my forehead pretty often. Now, I do think that I have a pretty nice looking forehead. I don't think it's too large, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Alright, so gray is still alive and kicking, as is aqua. And yellow is on final final kill. I think I think we'll go for gray. Do a little diagonal rush. I think gray's going to mid and I messed up my diagonal rush. While I was dead, I seemed to observe that Gray and Aqua seemed to be 
having bridges connected to each other's bases. So I can only assume that both of them are locked in a fearsome struggle. And I was right. Now, that means Gray is not at his base. Unfortunately, due to my a lack of bridging over the past year, I missed my bridge and fell off into the void. Gray has just voided in an effort to keep his bed from getting broken. Hello. Nope. We could get our win here. This could be the first win. Unfortunately, I just gave about 14 gold and 50 silver to him, so... Excuse me, iron, not silver. Now, I am a little bit curious as to Grace's plan. It looks like he's going to be leaving his base, possibly heading to mid, trying to get some emeralds. So I'm gonna go get some protection and also head to mid, hopefully cut him off at mid. What I forgot about is that yellow is still alive in this game. So we actually have two contenders that could potentially stop us before we win this game. I'm not too worried about either, but it is good to know that there are two people and they're both at mid at the moment. So if I can finish my bridge to mid without falling off again, then we will be in good shape. I wonder if they're gonna fight. And Gray's heading my base. Fortunately, I don't have a direct bridge to my base. Unfortunately, Gray has gotten on my bridge to my base. And I suppose... I, I feel like it's probably not the wisest idea to fight him there. I'm not entirely sure, that's just my general vibe. Especially since I think he probably now has another level of protection. And he pearled somewhere, or maybe yellow pearled somewhere. I heard an ender pearl. I can say with confidence that this is in fact the farthest that I've ever gotten in a Bed Wars game this year, so far. Uh, hopefully, we will not be getting fireballed off at any moment. I'd like to go to middle, try to get some emeralds, but I'm willing to fight people if the opportunity presents itself. I would also like to get another level of protection because I feel a little bit undergeared with just protection one. I'm pretty sure Gray has at least protection two, and he's right over there. I lost sight of him, so I have a sneaking suspicion that he... He, no, he does not have invis. I thought he might have invis because I didn't see him for a second. Looks like yellow has died somehow. Um, gray killed yellow, and I'm gonna kill gray. I did not kill gray. That's unfortunate. Gray is going invis. And unfortunately, we are still in the hunt for our first win. 